People have long valued collectibles like baseball cards, matchbox cars, and even these things, bobbleheads. And you know what? Today is National Bobblehead Day. And it didn't take too long for Keith Grant to find someone who's been collecting bobbleheads for years. I started in like summer of 2017. Since then, Jacob Stevens has been hooked, beginning with one and growing his collection. I don't even really remember how I started. I think I got one and I was like, well, this is, it was a glow in the dark one and I, I really like glow in the dark stuff. Yeah. So and that's also why my favorite ones are mine, glow in the dark ones. Pops began as a bobblehead company in 1998, but now they are just plastic characters. This didn't stop Stevens from searching everywhere for these. I would go around from every store, one to the other, and you can't just check what's in front. You have to go through the back as well. Um, so you go through the entire shelf at every single one of those places, and I did that once a week, every week, for about three years. Boba Fett, obviously. Like, and if you watch Mandalorian, got that one. It was also like the thrill of the hunt as well. It's like, so you can go from place to place every, you know, once a week, every week for, you know, two months and not find anything, or you can go to, you know, Books A Million one day and find three of them at once. That was the jackpot he was looking for, ultimately growing his collection to nearly half a grand. At my peak, I had 433, and right here is only about 207. Though he cut his collection in half, he still keeps his eye out for the special ones. I like to collect the chases, which are, they're, so those little yellow stickers, I don't even need to point to a specific okay. one because there's so many of them. The chases are rare. Steven says originally there was one chase for every 36 pops, but nowadays it's one in six. Is it the same pop, but a different feature on it. So this one is even more different. This is the regular speed racer pop, and then this is the chase where it's in like, it's the goblin form. Collectibles have many different types of features, making them valuable. Because of that, Steven says he hasn't ended up in the red. In Rapid City, I'm Keith Grant, Black Hills Fox News.